Good afternoon, dear students. Our today's lecture is municipal hygiene. And uh, during this lecture, we should discuss many questions. Microclimate, parameters of microclimate, methods of complex estimation of microclimate, uh, then uh, questions uh, about uh, hygiene of air, and uh, some questions due to light. Now questions, questions due to subject and tasks of municipal hygiene. Municipal hygiene section of hygiene studying influence factors of environment on the person and developing preventive actions for creation of favorable conditions of the population life. And uh, <coughs> this section of hygiene uh, may be shared in some branches. Hygiene of air where we study action of physical and chemical um, factors of air on organism, problems and problems of air pollution. Uh, hygiene of water and water supply. Hygiene of soil, uh, the most important question of uh, this branch, investigation and studying endemic and epidemic diseases associated with soil quality. Uh, next uh, branch, hygiene of occupied places, uh, where uh, we study hygienic requirements to cities, uh, location, uh, microclimate, light exposure, which must be in the living room and other premises, and hygienic demands to clearing occupied places from wastes. Influence of weather and climate on the person. Prevention of meteotropic reaction uh, in people. And recreational hygiene, uh, where we study uh, resort uh, factors and uh, prevention of uh, health resort pollution. No, and now we should begin uh, discussion about climate and microclimate. First of all, you should know concepts of climate and microclimate. Climate, it is average uh, long-term complex of physical parameters of atmospheric air in significant territory. It may be certain region or maybe country as whole. Uh, and microclimate, it is physical parameters of air in small territory quarter, street, or in the room. Uh, more often, we use concept of microclimate uh, due to room. So we estimate microclimate in the room. Major factors of microclimate are temperature of air, humidity of air, and speed of air movement. First parameter is atmospheric pressure. Uh, Atmospheric pressure uh, usually not taken into account at estimation of microclimate in the room, only in open air. Next question which we should discuss, um, heat regulation system of organism. Its specific system of our organism, our body, uh, which regulates um, optimal body temperature and uh, correlation between our organism, our body and environment by heat sensation. Heat regulation system uh, we can share it on two parts, chemical and physical. Chemical heat regulation or thermogenesis, heat production. Physical heat regulation or heat emission. In optimal conditions, uh, they must be in um, balance. Chemical physical um, components of heat rotation system. Uh, chemical part thermogenesis depends on air temperature. 
And here we can um, determine some zones, uh, the, some ranges of temperature uh, and uh, different uh, reactions of organism in these temperatures. Zone of indifference, 18 to 28 degrees Celsius, optimal state of heat regulation. If temperature below 18 degrees Celsius, uh, thermogenesis will be increased. <coughs> Above mm, 28 degrees Celsius, opposite decreasing thermoregulation. Sorry, uh, thermogenesis, heat production. And uh, if temperature above 35 degrees Celsius, it may cause disorder of thermoregulation system. Uh, and uh, specific um, features of uh, uh, such, uh, diso uh, such disorder will be um, thermal fatigue, thermal edema flames, thermal cramps, heat faint, and heat stroke. And now we should discuss the ways of physical heat regulation or heat emission. It may be three main kinds of uh, emission. Uh, heat emission, heat conduction, heat evaporation, and heat irradiation. Heat conduction uh, will lose uh, approximately 30-40% of our heat by this way. Uh, conduction heat to object of environment, but maybe two um, parts of heat conduction, convection and propylene conduction. Convection is an um, emission of uh, heat to air, uh, and the convection depends on temperature, humidity and speed of air movement. Conduction, uh, when uh, we give our heat to contact uh, subjects and it depends on temperature of a subject, eternal conductivity and area of contact uh, with a subject. Next way is heat evaporation. In normal condition 10-15% of uh, heat will lose by this way. Uh, perception from the surface of the body. Mm -hmm. And heat evaporation depends on temperature, humidity, and speed of air movement. But uh, in uh, at non-optimal conditions and very hot uh, climate or very hot microclimate, heat evaporation will be the most effective and single way of um, heat loss. Uh, because others uh, ways uh, usually don't work and not effective. Uh, next way is heat irradiation. The biggest um, amount of our heat we lost by heat radiation. Uh, we cannot uh, feel this way, uh, but it's the biggest. Uh, it's emission of infrared rays to environment. Heat radiation depends on radiation temperature. Radiation temperature is different between body temperature, average 36 degrees Celsius, and temperature of environment objects, walls, floor, furniture. Now we should discuss parameters of microclimate. For different premises, we have different standards of microclimate. And you should know devices for measuring these parameters. For example, uh, factor of microclimate temperature. Uh, more often we use this parameter for estimation microclimate in the room. Uh, devices which uh, are used, uh, used for measuring temperature are thermometers, maybe different kinds of thermometers, and thermograph. Thermograph is used for writing uh, for writing temperatures in time. Uh, and standards for inhabited room temperature should be 18 to 22 degrees Celsius. Uh, for sports hall, a 16-18 degrees Celsius. 
for operation theater 2325. Air humidity, devices, psychrometer and hygrometer. Uh, and standard uh, for main premises uh, 40-60%, for operation theater up to 55%. Speed of air movement. Devices uh, which are used uh, are anemometer, anemometer and cutter thermometer. And uh, normal speed of air movement 0 0.2, 0 0.4 meter per second. For kindergarten, uh, this parameter should be less. Next parameter, humidity of air. Uh, humidity its presence of uh, water vapor uh, in, in the air of the room. And uh, humidity may be of three kinds, absolute, maximum, relative. Absolute humidity its amount of water vapor in the air at this time and uh, measures uh, in grams per meter cube uh, or millimeters uh, of um, um, maximal humidity, uh, the greatest possible saturation of air by water vapor at given temperature. And relative humidity, its ratio between absolute to maximal in percentage. This ratio we should multiply in 100%. Standard of air humidity is 40-60, I said you. At smaller humidity, maybe dryness of skin and mucous membranes, at the greater disorder of gray, uh, heat loss. In operation theater, up to 55%. Uh, it will be prevention of narcotic explosion. The concept of uh, rows of beans. Uh, we know about uh, uh, speed of air movement, but we should know direction of the winds. Direction of wind may be uh, north-east, north, north-west, uh, south-east. Uh, uh, direction of cardinal points uh, from which uh, wind blows uh, in, in certain place, in certain city. For estimation of air movement direction on open place, um, uh, special graphic representation is used. And name of this representation is rows of winds. So it's a special graph of uh, all direction of winds in the certain territory during the year. <coughs> Uh, by this uh, graph, we can see uh, the prevalent uh, direction of winds in a certain territory. It's very important in planning populated areas and for prevention of pollution. Now we should discuss methods of complex estimation of microclimate. Uh, Difference from usual measuring microclimate, um, by one parameter, by one index, we can estimate all factors of microclimate together. So, uh, as, uh, we estimate microclimate as whole by one index, by one parameter. Application uh, of this method, um, for they are used for estimation of microclimate in the room, for improvement of microclimate in the room, air conditioning uh, was found on uh, this method, uh, in one of these methods. <coughs> in health resort for correct prescription of air procedures and uh, um, this me uh, such methods are used in occupational conditions, for example, in industry, in um, Factories uh, where uh, so named uh, hot shops presence, it's where people work at uh, high temperatures and microclimate uh, is um, unfavorable and uh, maybe overheating of organism.
Ну, one of these methods uh, is method of carpet thermometry. То есть, for this method, special devices used carpet thermometer. Uh, measuring uh, must be in this cooling of period of dry carpet thermometer. We measure time of cooling. Uh, this device and uh, then calculate uh, by formula H F divided on T. So, uh, by um, with this formula we calculate cooling ability of air. No, and standard for this parameter 5.5 to 7 millicalories per centimeter square per second. Uh, these numbers mean how many heat uh, device losses from centimeter square of its surface in one second. Uh, if our result within this range, we estimate such microclimate as optimal. Uh, if our result less than 5.5, uh, such microclimate we estimate as hot if more than seven cold type no, and uh, if more number more cold microclimate less than less less than five uh, it means um, what type of microclimate next method method of effective temperatures it's an uh, american method uh, and uh, special chamber was constructed and uh, many people uh, come to this special microclimatic chamber and uh, certain conditions uh, uh, were created in this chamber uh, absent of any um, moments and um, relative humidity 100%. Uh, and uh, only temperature was changed and uh, then after um, visiting uh, this chamber people um, um, were asking uh, their sensation their heat sensation so, uh, person comes to this chamber and then uh, this person uh, must uh, say um, uh, his uh, heat sensation, cold, hot, or normal, or co comfort or non-comfort um, conditions. But uh, such combination of microclimatic factors is um, non-usual. Usually we have certain speed of air movement, certain uh, humidity, and um, <clears throat> but uh, what, by this method, uh, two parameters, two ranges uh, will established. Uh, zone of comfort uh, is uh, 17.2 to 21.7 degree of ET. Uh, ET means effective temperatures. So, but in this range, uh, people, 50% of investigated people uh, feel comfort. Uh, a line of comfort 18.2, 18.9, where all investigated people feel comfort. There's a line of comfort inside of zone of comfort, uh, but uh, degree of ET, it's not degree Celsius. It's a specific feature of this method. It's certain microclimate. With microclimate, uh, which uh, has uh, such range 17 to 21.7 we estimate such microclimate as comfort if parameter uh, we reveal parameter less than 17 it means microclimate is cold, cool or cold and opposite if more than 21.7 it means microclimate is hot Uh, measuring of effective temperature maybe by such special nomogram and for measuring effective temperatures we use device psychrometer which consists of two thermometers dry and wet and here you can see two scales by two these thermometers of psychrometer we connect by line data which we can take 
from device and put on this uh, nomogram uh, this line air velocity and uh, in point of intersection we put line it will be effective temperature so here we can see zone of comfort if our result inside of zone of comfort we can we can write microclimate is optimal or if less cool time or um, higher than zone of comfort um, hot type of microclimate Continue of this method uh, was the method of equivalent effective temperatures because uh, other special chamber uh, was constructed where all parameters of microclimate temperature, humidity and air velocity were changed change, so the thermal condition of person was like as in zone of comfort in the first chamber the tables of interrelation temperature, humidity and uh, uh, speed of air movement for each zone comfort on effective temperature were created. And on this method, uh, air conditioning uh, was found. This is base for future air conditioning because uh, uh, we improve microclimate by air conditioning. Next method, uh, method of equivalent effective radiation temperatures. Besides usual factors of microclimate, radiation temperature, I said you, is different between temperature of body and temperature of environment objects, was taken into account. Uh, but um, this method uh, it, um, is not uh, used very widely. Uh, next method, uh, methods by thermal feeling of people. It's questioning people about their thermal feeling and method of uh, skin temperatures. So on this table, uh, you can see different <coughs> parameters of temperature on different uh, parts of our body, uh, on the hand, uh, on the forehead, skin. No, and um, difference between two of these data uh, means uh, cold, cold, hot, or very hot. And now we should uh, discuss questions uh, uh, about weather and climate. Weather is dynamic components of physical properties of air for a short time for a short in time interval. Uh, hours, day, week. Climate is a long-term mode of weather in big territories with um, regular recurrence. Thus, uh, weather is changeable phenomenon and climate statistically constant concept. Basic groups of weather forming factors are Heliophysical, uh, its intensity of solar radiation and solar activity. Parameters of solar activity, uh, its special coefficients, coefficient V, amount of mercury in the sun, coefficient S, general area of mercury in the sun, intensity of the sun radiation and solar wind, corpuscular streams, protons, electrons from the sun. Next group of weather forming factor, uh, geophysical, intensity of geomagnetic field, geomagnetic activity, magnetic fluctuations, magnetic storms, electric state of the atmosphere, electric intensity, potential gradient, electric conductivity of air, ionization, um, which means um, content of positive or negative air ions and electromagnetic oscillations. Next group of factors very important and uh, this group of meta factors uh, we use uh, very often, meteorological factors. 
it's usual data of temperature, humidity, speed and direction of air movement and atmospheric pressure. Synoptic next group, synoptic factors. Cloudiness, precipitation. Synoptic factors are caused by atmospheric circulation of warm and cold air masses. Uh, maybe three types of air masses, warm, cold and neutral. At their moment, uh, at their moment atmospheric fronts are formed. Uh, these fronts may be warm, cold and maybe occlusion. Chemical composition of atmosphere. Content, usually uh, we measure content of oxygen, carbon dioxide and presence of pollutants in atmosphere. Types of atmospheric circulation. Uh, it, um, <coughs> in description of weather, we use such uh, we use special concepts, um, uh, cyclone and anticyclone. What means cyclone? Atmospheric low wind with low pressure in the center and movement of air counterclockwise. It is characterized by unstable weather. It is cloudy, precipitation, hurricanes, uh, typhoons, the big differences of pressure, temperatures, content of oxygen. And such weather is biotropic, uh, weather non favorable for organism, for human. And opposite anticyclone, it's an um, atmospheric phenomenon with a high pressure in the center and movement of air clockwise. Uh, usually, at anticyclone, clear weather without any precipitation, uh, it's a hot strong uh, heat in the summer or frost in the winter, uh, in our conditions. Uh, sharp differences are not present. Such weather more favorable. And uh, now very important question about meteotropic reactions. At periodic sharp changes of weather factors and people can arise meteotropic reactions. Expressed more at great changes of weather are observed during day or some hours. Meteotropic reactions, it's negative reactions of organism, uh, of, organ of human, of human uh, on changes of weather. All people by meteor sensibility are shared on two categories, two groups meteor stable and meteor sensitive. Meteor stable or tolerant young, usually young healthy people. And meteor sensitive by the different data it is 30 70 of all uh, of the population. Uh, usually um, old age people and uh, patients. Uh, among patients up to 90 percent are meteor sensitive and children also meteor-sensitive. Manifestations of meteorotropic reactions uh, may be easy degree, average and uh, severe degree. Easy degree is asthenic vegetative syndrome. Uh, many cases of meteorotropic reaction in population at changes of weather. Asthenic vegetative syndrome, it's not specific symptoms. Uh, it's headache, uh, total malaise, decrease of serviceability, just uh, total uh, uh, worsening um, well-being. Uh, but at average degree, more strong headache, more strong cardiac pains, expressed uh, changes uh, of um, pulse rate, blood pressure, uh, i.e. at uh, average degree, more severe, um, more expressed uh, symptoms. Uh, and severe uh, degree, uh, the most negative, uh, the most strong uh, manifestations, uh, maybe acute effects of chronic diseases. Uh, it's um, <clears throat> Maybe myocardial infarction, uh, insult, attacks of bronchial asthma, 
percent in such period at such period uh, may be increasing uh, mortality among population uh, bad weather unfavorable weather and uh, especially very strong change of weather during short time may be a reason or reasons of uh, uh, patient's mortality and uh, exacerbation of chronic disease and severe exacerbation. And now diseases accompanied by meteotropic reactions. Uh, first of all, diseases is which presence of meteotropic reactions in sport. Cardiovascular disease on first place. Statistically growth number of insults, hypertensive crisis, heart attacks and mortality. Uh, bronchial asthma increases increase attacks of asthma and maybe it may be reason of mortality of patient. Rheumatism, activation of disease, strengthening polar arthritis, autotrophia at 90% of patients. And maybe chronic non-specific pulmonary diseases. Also maybe attacks of some pulmonary diseases in 60-72% of patients. And the next group diseases at which presence of meteorotropic reactions may be. May, may, may be or sometimes may be absent. Uh, here all other diseases uh, of gastrointestinal tract, for example, peptic ulcer, also attacks of peptic ulcer, gastritis, colitis, at 40-60% uh, of patients. Uh, pathology of kidneys, 40-50%, uh, diabetes mellitus, 20%, neuromental disorders, 50% of patients. Ophthalmologic uh, surgical pathology among uh, sick uh, children 25-45% meteosensitive. Medical estimation of weather. In the basis of all medical classification, the concept of Vedinsky about force of external irritation, low average and high level. By Fedorov's classification, we have three types of weather, optimal, irritative, and acute. And by other classification from four up to seven types. No, four, four classification of Fedorov. Three types, optimal weather, uh, we understand it's normal weather. Irritative, not very, uh, not very good weather, and acute, uh, better weather. It's uh, unfavorable weather. The main question in medical estimation of weather accounting the sharpness of weather factors changes during short time. You should understand this question. Very sh short time changes. It, uh, uh, usually uh, we measure these parameters, these parameters uh, which must be account, it's a, a very strong fluctuation of uh, air temperature, um, changes, strong changes of uh, atmospheric pressure, maybe decreasing or maybe opposite increasing. Uh, and <clears throat> uh, usually at some period, uh, maybe change of uh, change in oxygen concentration. And uh, prophylaxis. Now, prophylaxis of uh, manifestations of meteorotropic reactions. Uh, these uh, measures uh, might be shared in some groups. Uh, general hygienic measures, correct clothes uh, due to weather, improvement of life and work conditions, uh, improvement, uh, normalization of microclimate measures. Uh, for decreasing negative influence of weather at work on open air. Uh, first of all, people who work in building, in agriculture. Next group of measures, organizational measures, accounting media sensitive patients in the polyclinic and hospital, organization of medical weather forecasts, 
medical recommendation to the population in mass media. And the third group of measures, treatment and prophylactic measures. Uh, it's increasing, should be increasing non-specific resistance of organism, walking, fresh air, open air, uh, vitamins, uh, usage, vitamins, uh, balance, uh, observation of balanced diet, sparing mood, uh, must be sparing mood at uh, such people, people with meteotropic reaction, decrease of physical activity, restriction of climatic and uh, physiotherapeutic uh, procedures, postpone of operations and stomatological procedures, and obligatory must be pharmacological measures by specific and non-specific drugs. No, it's example sedative, hypotensive. Uh, it depends on disease, because first of all, my metatrophic reactions. Uh, more expressed at people with diseases because there uh, must be um, obligatory in taking drugs uh, specific uh, for certain pathology. No, and maybe seasonal pre prophylaxis, seasonal prevention of metatropic reaction. In our conditions, um, such uh, periods, such seasons, usually are spring and autumn where we have uh, strong changes of weather uh, from hot to um, cold and opposite end in such period, uh, periods and people maybe um, <coughs> contraindication maybe complications of their pathology of their diseases and uh, metatropic uh, reactions also more expressed. Hygienic importance of climate. Climate, uh, we said, it's long-term mode of weather in big territory, and uh, the uh, climate forming factors are geographical latitude, height above sea level, early and kind of earth surface, uh, features of air mass circulation, closeness to the uh, sea, seas and oceans. And the basic parameters of climate, <coughs> uh, temperature of air, humidity, amount of precipitation, atmospheric pressure, rows of winds, amount of clear and wet weather days, duration of and uh, now we should discuss um, such a specific <laughs> state as the climatization. The climatization is complex of functional and morphological changes in organism direct to the adaptation to new climatic conditions. And maybe two stages. Uh, partial acclimatization or adaptation, uh, usually the first hours uh, up to 14 days, uh, but at sick people uh, this uh, duration usually more, about, about 30 and more days, and maybe full acclimatization after 14 days. Uh, to some months, uh, but in some conditions, for example, uh, in conditions of funnels, uh, uh, this period may be up to one year and more. And during acclimatization, uh, resistance of organism is reduced to adverse factors of environment. It may, it may cause growth of diseases, asthenic vegetative, syndrome. And uh, <clears throat> uh, acclimatization, uh, the most um, difficult uh, and long uh, at uh, old people and at people with chronic diseases. 
uh, because our recommendations uh, absent of uh, long travels and uh, absence of uh, very strong changes of climate. So when we change climate, maybe such period of adaptation. And uh, for young people, it's not very big problem and adaptation will be more easy. Uh, but for old people and for sick people, uh, it may cause problems with health. Prophylaxis of adverse uh, manifestation of vampirization. Elimination of the reasons to avoid without necessity sharp changes of the climate, especially the patients, old people and children. Increasing general resistance of organism. Hardening uh, by hardening, uh, by balanced diet, no, and <coughs> more sparing mode of climatic uh, precisions on results. <coughs> no, now uh, we can begin discussion of our next um, part of the lecture. Uh, we should discuss some questions due to atmospheric air and the special requirements to air and problems uh, we should discuss problems of air pollution. Chemical composition of atmospheric air. The main gases of air are nitrogen, oxygen, carbon dioxide and other gases. The biggest component is, uh, component is nitrogen, 78%. Oxygen near 21% and carbon dioxide 003-004%. Other gases, argon, neon, helium, and others near 1% as well. Oxygen importance. In the nature, the processes of oxygen consumption and excretion constantly take place. The consumption of oxygen occurs in the respiration of human and animals, different oxidizing processes. For a person, oxygen is necessary for oxidizing biochemical processes in organism. At lack of oxygen in organism, hypoxia of various severity occurs. Not the percentage, but absolute amount of oxygen in the air, depending on its partial pressure, is of great importance. A partial pressure of oxygen decreases at the cyclones and also at climbing. And, uh, on this slide, you can see zones of oxygen partial pressure fall at climbing mountains. In different zones, up to 2 km of height, it is safe for health. The next height zone uh, of complete compensation from 2 up to 4 km. Partial pressure of oxygen decreases, lung ventilation increases, and, but hypoxia is absent. Uh, but the uh, zone of complete compensation is um, safe only for healthy people. If a person has some problem with health, 3 and 4 kilometers, uh, it's, um, it's big height. It's big height where uh, maybe some problems with health. Uh, zone of in com incomplete compensation for 6 kilometers. Strong decrease in partial pressure of oxygen, acute or chronic hypoxia, and uh, symptoms of this state uh, will be headache, euphoria, sleepiness, impairment of memory. Critical zone, next zone, up to 8 kilometers. Here may be loss of consciousness and threshold of mortality above 8 kilometers. But uh, at non training people, at such level, maybe this. And now we should discuss pathogenesis and manifestations of mountain or high altitude illness. Pathogenesis. At climbing to mountain, partial pressure of oxygen in air in, and in alveolar air decreases. 
amount of air oxygen entering organism depends on gradient between partial pressure of oxygen in alveolar air and partial pressure of oxygen in blood. When this difference is very small, oxygen cannot enter the organism and hypoxia develops in person. Manifestation. Uh, maybe different kinds um, forms of mountain illness, acute, subacute, chronic form, uh, and uh, maybe also diff different degree, maybe mild, moderate, and severe degree of mountain illness. Symptoms: breathlessness, dyspnea, palpitation, malaise, fatigability, sleepiness, nausea, vomiting, nasal bleedings cyanosis, disorder of CNS. The disorder of uh, CNS, it will be headache, maybe euphoria, um, inadequate uh, behavior, uh, and uh, these symptoms are more expressed at, uh, uh, it depends, uh, express, uh, uh, severity of these uh, manifestations uh, depends on age of person, uh, its training, uh, present or absence of diseases. There's many factors that uh, influence in uh, manifestations of mountain disease. Uh, but at many people, uh, they can reveal such uh, symptoms. Prophylaxis. Prophylaxis, step-by-step -step gradual climbing mountain, mountains with making camps for the development. Of compensatory um, reactions to hypoxia. Uh, one of uh, example, example of such um, Adaptation such compensatory reactions uh, is physiological erythrocytosis. Uh, but physiological erythrocytosis may be only at long presence in such conditions. In, uh, for example, it may be at people who live in mountains in, on big heights. Uh, and uh, such people have physiological erythrocytosis. It's uh, adaptation of their uh, body to um, such conditions, uh, to conditions of hypoxia. And maybe usage of oxygen apparatuses. And uh, for uh, planes must be pressurization of cabin. Next guess, ozone. Mm. Ozone, uh, the allotropic form of oxygen. The ozone layer of atmosphere, atmosphere is located at height of 20-30 km. Importance of, of ozone. It absorbs uh, space uh, shortwave radiation, including ultraviolet radiation. Uh, ozone, uh, you can hear about uh, ozone gaps, uh, which uh, at ozone gaps uh, decreasing layer ozone. Uh, for 20%, uh, it causes a growing level of ultraviolet radiation. A uh, high level of uh, ultraviolet radiation may cause um, increases the risk of melanoma in population. Uh, ozone has high oxidizing properties, uh, reduces chemical and microbial pollution of atmosphere. In the big concentration, ozone causes irritation of mucus, lungs hypostasis, changes in CNS, intensifies formation of free radicals, impairs, impairs oxidizing processes. Next guess, nitrogen. Nitrogen is a main component of proteins and nitrogen compounds a basis of all living beings on our planet. But, uh, but living organisms cannot receive nitrogen directly from atmosphere. 
except some bacteria and uh, blue-green seaweeds. Nitrogen in the, is the biggest component of air. Action of nitrogen on the person. In usual normal conditions, nitrogen is a not gas. And um, the, uh, nitrogen only uh, function, the main function of uh, nitrogen in environment and in air is dilution of oxygen. It's the increased pressure. Nitrogen provides narcotic effect on CNS. It dives on depth 100 meters. In five minutes, dizziness, euphoria, failure of memory, hallucination. And now, pathogenesis and symptoms of case or decompression illness. Because uh, this uh, disease, this illness associated with nitrogen. On diving, uh, the pressure of gases as well as gas solubility in blood increases. On weak rising a diver from the depths or decompression of plain, plain cabin in the upper layer of atmosphere, the pressure of gases sharply falls and solubility of gases in blood decreases. Nitrogen slowly diffuses through a pulmonary alveolar membrane and um, is excreted in blood and tissues in the form of bubbles, which diameter depends on depth, i.e. the difference of pressure on depth and on surface. Uh, thus, a gas vascular embolism occurs. So the main in pathogenesis of case and illness is formation of bubbles and occurrence of gas embolism gas metal embolism, nitrogen embolism of vessels. Other gases such as oxygen, carbon dioxide, helium quickly diffuse through membrane and do not form bubbles. Manifestations. The following degrees of severity of the disease are distinguished. A mild degree uh, when very small diameter of bubbles results in embolism only of capillaries, causing numbness and pain of fingers and tail, tails, headache. A moderate degree is manifested by sharp pains in extremities, more severe headache, pains and inflation of intestine. A severe degree leads to embolism of large vessels in the CNS, coronary vessel, pulmonary artery and cardiac arrest. Uh, embolism of vessels in CNS may cause lesion of the vital centers. Uh, pulmonary uh, artery may cause um, <coughs> problems with breathing and uh, stop of uh, uh, heart and death. It's a total embolia, embolism of uh, pulmonary tract and uh, pulmonary trunk, and uh, it uh, finishes its end by this. Prophylaxis. Gradual step rise to a surface. Changing nitrogen by other gas, for example, helium, in breathing mixture for divers because divers uh, use uh, aqualung with mix of gases. And uh, usage of the altitude chamber for treatment, for treatment of uh, case and illness, um, altitude chamber may be used because uh, change of pressure and uh, gradual um, removal gas from organism. Carbon dioxide, CO2. The content of carbon dioxide is in atmosphere makes 0, 0, 003004%. 0, 0, uh, it is produced in nature at breath, breath of living organisms, processes of burning, constants in atmosphere due to assimilation by plants, absorption by sea and fresh water hydrobiomes. Uh, 
the main physiological function, biological function of carbon dioxide is physiological irritation of the respiratory center. On this slide, you can see different effects of carbon dioxide in various concentrations on organism. At low concentration, uh, 0, 0, 0,5, 0, 0,1, it's normal concentration of carbon dioxide. Biological effects are small dilatation of blood vessels. Higher percentage, 0.5, may cause change on electroencephalogram breathlessness. 1% acidosis. 1-2% decrease of fuel capacity and toxic impact on CNS. 2-3% expressed irritation of respiratory center and CNS. and 10-12% loss of consciousness and paralysis of respiratory center and death. Maximum permissible concentration of carbon dioxide in the room uh, makes 0.1%. Uh, Substantiation. Uh, CO2 parameter of air purity and efficiency of ventilation. And growth of carbon dioxide concentration above uh, 0.1% amount of toxic antimicrobial air pollutants increases that can have harmful effect to human organism. Air ventilation. <coughs> ventilation is a uh, change of air in the room, change of more polluted uh, air uh, or in more fresh air kinds of ventilation. Ventilation may be natural, artificial and mixed. Natural through, for example, through windows, when we open window and uh, fresh air enter in the room. Artificial with the help of special appliances. And uh, kind of such uh, artificial ventilation, inflow, outflow or combined. And mixed uh, natural and artificial ventilation. Parameters of ventilation efficiency. Usually we use three parameters of, of estimation. Sufficiency of ventilation, content of carbon dioxide, not more than 0.1%, um, uh, rate of air exchange in the room per one hour, and volume of ventilation per, per person per one hour. And the standards of ventilation you can see on this slide. Uh, for living room, frequency of air exchange 0 0.5, 1 in 1 hour. And volume of ventilation per person 20, 30 meter cube in, in, in one person. Uh, more higher frequency of air exchange should be in uh, cinema hall because it's big premise. And in operation theater, uh, all this uh, artificial ventilation, inflow plus six times, plus means inflow, and minus means outflow, uh, six times per one hour inflow, and five times per one hour outflow. No, now we can make a break. Ten minutes.
Мне было вот написано «Приостановлено». Это потому что ты не говоришь? Вот написано «Приостановлено». Это просто я не говорю ничего. Или я вот приостановилась еще долго. А вы что-то нажимали? Нет, почему-то она уже не была. Я только чего на что-то приостановлено. Вы не это не то.
Let's continue. Uh, now we should discuss ecological and hygienic problems of atmosphere pollution. Atmosphere pollution is particularly dangerous. It is polluted uh, more than other objects of environment. Pollutants in air are more dangerous than those in water, foodstuffs and soil because the human organism is saturated with a big concentration due to large area of lungs penetrated with vessels. <coughs> Blood from the lungs by passing liver is carried around the whole organism. Thus, the liver neutralizing function is reduced. <coughs> Main factors and sources of atmosphere pollution. Chemical substances. The sources are industry, especially petrochemical, transport processes of fuel burning, uh, thermal power stations, boiler houses, uh, rubbish processing factories, agriculture, for example, production of pesticides, dust uh, sources, uh, different kinds um, of industry, building soil erosion, uh, all these sources um, of dust production. Biological pollution, microbes, high density of people in cities, cattle breeding factories, biological pesticides, a next factor of uh, uh, environment pollution, radioisotopes, nuclear, plant, nuclear power plants, industry, medicine, nuclear tests, and thermal pollution of atmosphere. Emissions of uh, superheated gases by industrial works and uh, boiler houses, emission and reflection of heat by the urbanized territories. Uh, <coughs> uh, pollutants may be primary and secondary. Primary pollutants get to the air directly as a result of human activity. Secondary pollutants are formed in atmosphere due to reaction between primary pollutants. Factors impacting the intensity of atmosphere pollution. The amount of and intensity of emissions per one kilometer square, degree of urbanization, height of emissions in atmosphere, relief of territory, low place uh, at low place, uh, bad ventilation, meteorological factors, architectural planning, distance between industrial enterprises and living quarters, area of green plantations. Absorption, uh, positive function of green plantations uh, in absorption of pollutants. Uh, now we should discuss the ways of atmosphere self purification. Uh, it's a dilution of pollutants by air masses. Concentration of pollutants is reduced down to MPC and below. Uh, next way sedimentation, deposition of particles. Sedimentation may be dry and wet. A dry sedimentation uh, uh, usually it's um, for large and small particles. Uh, wet sedimentation of pollutants with uh, precipitation, so with rain, with snow. Uh, maybe chemical reactions and destruction of pollutants under the influence of ultraviolet radiation and ozone. Uh, but more toxic substances, photooxid, for example, photooxidants may be formed. Bactericidal effect of UV uh, are also a decrease of atmosphere microbial pollution. Neutralization of acidic and alkaline pollutants also is dangerous due to formation of more toxic products. Absorption. Uh, absorption of pollutants by plants in uh, woods and parks and assimilation and destruction of atmosphere pollutants by soil microbes. <coughs> On this slide you can see different kinds of um, negative influence of atmosphere pollution on population health. Uh, this influence may be direct and indirect, acute and chronic. Acute action, uh, 
uh, for example, it may be specific to poisonings by certain toxic gases and may be a cue to provoking action, for example, toxic fog, smoke of Los Angeles type, attacks of bronchial asthma, and maybe chronic action also with shed in specific and non-specific. Specific, for example, chronic specific illnesses. For example, itai, itai illness, uh, minamata, yosho, fluorosis, non-specific changes of population's health, uh, for example, changes of demographic, morbidity, physical development, and physical disability. Maybe remote effects, oncogenous, mutagenous, teratogenic, immunodepressive. And maybe indirect negative action of environment pollution, air pollution, increase of rickets, melanoma, worsening population life condition, acidic rains, pollution of food stuffs. And now we should discuss basic directions of atmosphere pollution prevention. Uh, this <coughs> it's group of measures. Uh, first of all, administrative legislative measures, law on preservation of atmosphere and solutions of municipal authority, architectural planning measures, zoning territory of city, and observation of sanitary protective zones. Uh, it's special zone, special distance between uh, polluted object and uh, living zone. Hygienic measures, preliminary and current sanitary control of sources of atmosphere emissions. Medical preventive, searching population health under the air pollution influence, revealing diseases associated with air pollution. Ecological monitoring, searching changes of ecosystems and biological objects under air pollution influence. Uh, next group of measures, technological measures, implementation of cell-contained technologies, air is purified and again returns to operation. There are no emissions to the open air. Change of technologies to decrease pollution in chemical industry, change of car, car oil to gas, electric engines. No, and here are uh, examples of technological measures uh, because <coughs> in practice uh, this group of measures are the most effective if uh, these measures work uh, usage of purifying construction on sources of pollution. Uh, these special technologies may be cyclone, multi-cyclone, emitted gases are purified from hot and fluid particles due to rotation and sedimentation. Scrubber, special purifying device for gases and hot, hot particles. And electric filter, the charge particles are removed. So, and now um, we should begin the last component of our lecture, where we should discuss uh, question due to solar radiation and question due to light exposure of different premises. All organic life of, of the Earth is linked to this energy of the Sun, a unique external source of heat and light. The sun energy causes the air streams and um, the changes uh, define the climate. From the physical point of view, the sunny light is a stream of electromagnetic radiation with different wavelengths. And uh, on this slide, you can see composition of solar radiation at space and uh, range of these uh, rays uh, uh, from long wave uh, to short wave, uh, microwave, infrared. Uh, uh, visible light, UV, X-rays, and gamma rays. And all these uh, rays uh, have different lengths. Solar constant. On body of the Earth's atmosphere, the level of solar radiation 
in average two calories per centimeter square per minute or so named solar constant depends on activity of the sun astronomical factors the changes of the sun radiation occur due to absorption dispersion and reflection of the sun rays in the atmosphere changes of solar radiation in atmosphere uh, uh, such uh, changes are quantitative and qualitative. Quantitative. The surface of the Earth is rich uh, by only 43% of solar constant. Qualitative, uh, qualitative changes in spectrum of solar radiation. Uh, compound of uh, solar spectrum in the space, ultraviolet uh, rays 5%, visible rays 52% and infrared 43%. On the Earth, ultraviolet only 1%, visible rays 40%, and infrared 59%. The reason of such change, presence of two screens, electric magnetic field of the Earth and ozone layer, declining um, short wave rays and absorbing uh, long wave bands. Next question which we should discuss concept of the solar starvation. Solar starvation or solar deficiency, specific pathological condition formed due to the lack of solar irradiation. Symptoms, asthenic vegetative syndrome, CNS oppression, decrease of adaptive abilities for children, rickets. In Europe, uh, Europe uh, the rural population has solar starvation two months per year, urban population four months, high pollution due to high pollution of atmosphere. The reasons of solar starvation. Short time stay on open air. It may be uh, at not optimal day regime, unfavorable weather conditions, and chronic disease and disabilities. Climatic conditions of territory, for example, at the far north, during six months, it is polar night. Pollution of atmosphere, commonly the illumination is decreased for 40-50%. A level ultraviolet radiation in the center of London is 36 times less than in suburbs. Professional factors, for example, at mines, at submarines, wrong design of buildings and living quarters, shade windows from direct solar beams. Uh, the usual window glass impedes uh, 35 to 90 percent of solar stream. Prophylaxis of solar starvation. The increase of staying open air, a correct planning residential areas and buildings, the observance of norms of natural lighting in premises, struggle against atmosphere pollution. The most effective way of solar starvation prophylaxis is using preventive ultraviolet radiation in special photarium with luminous center UV lamps. Before administering uh, the course of ultraviolet radiation, it is necessary to determine a bio dose of ultraviolet radiation for each person. Concept about bio dose. Uh, bio dose of ultraviolet radiation, its minimal time of radiation, causing a small erythema on the skin in 8 to 20 hours after UV irradiation. The minimal daily preventive dose of UVR is 1 over a part of bio dose. The optimal dose is a half or a quarter of bio dose. Optimal dose, uh, usually um, ir irradiation in optimal dose uh, usually is used for treatment of some pathology. For example, after operations or uh, at uh, patients with infectional diseases. And for prophylaxis of diseases, for example, for prophylaxis of rickets at children, we use artificial irradiation by UVR in uh, 
uh, dose of 108 from bio dose. It's bio dose it's individual parameter, individual time of irradiation, uh, which depends on individual sensitivity to ultraviolet rays. So it must be determined individually for each person. Uh, later, after measuring by those, we take sample uh, and uh, it measures in minutes, in seconds. So uh, we give certain time of irradiation. It may be 40 seconds, maybe one minute, maybe two minutes. Spectral distribution and biological effect of solar radiation parts. Uh, solar uh, radiation um, consists of three main parts, infrared, visible and ultraviolet. And all these parts um, have a special wavelengths, a certain wavelengths and a certain mechanism of action and certain biological effects. For example, infrared radiation. Length of waves minimum 760 and more up to 20,000 nanometers. Mechanism thermal effect. Uh, me thermal mechanism of action. Uh, biological effects are heating tissues intensifying metabolic processes. Visible light. Uh, length of waves uh, less from 400 up to 760, mechanism thermal and weak photochemical. Biological effects are sensation of light, uh, CNS stimulation. Ultraviolet, which are shared by different ranges, A, B, C, D, and uh, length of wave from 400 and less. Mechanism, photochemical, biological effect, melanin formation, bactericidal effect, erythemic, synthesis of vitamin D in the skin, and general stimulating effect. Ultraviolet rays is the most biological important part of solar spectrum. The mechanism of action, photochemical effect. Formation of biological active substances, histamine, choline, acetylcholine in the skin, which cause dilatation of vessels. It will be photochemical erythema. Attributes of photochemical erythema, even distinct bodies, then melanin formation. Kinds of uh, ultraviolet biological action. Sunburned effect due to melanin formation, formation of erythema, bactericidal, luminescent, and fluorescent, and anti rickets effect due to formation of vitamin D. An acute action of big doses of ultraviolet radiation may be photoerythema. Dermatitis burns increased body temperature and photoophthalmia. Photoophthalmia is a pathological chain action on eyes, disorder of vision. Uh, specific symptoms of photoophthalmia are um, photophobia, uh, lacrimation, pain in eyes, uh, decrease of vision, and meiosis. A chronic action of big doses of ultraviolet radiation, a worsen cell feeling, decreased flexibility, exacerbation of chronic diseases, and uh, maybe risk factor of skin cancer melanoma. Next component of solar spectrum is visible light. Lens of rays we discussed, 400 760 nanometers has small photochemical effect, photosensitization of visual elements in retina. Small heat action, absorption of light quanta in tissues. CNS stimulation to excitation the visual center. Positive influence on emotional conditions, cardiac and other functions. Excessive intensity of visible light may cause blinding effect 
down to destruction of photosensitive elements of eyes and occurrence of retinitis. So it's due to visible light we can see and positive effect in CNS, um, CNS due to stimulation of um, visual center and the positive influence in emotional sphere. Infrared rays, lens of a way more 700-760, the main effect heating, strengthening oscillatory and rotational movements of molecules and tissues. Biological effects of infrared rays, hyperemia of skin and internal organs, increased gas metabolism in tissues, intensive diuresis, diuresis resolving of inflammatory foci applied in physiotherapy. At excessive intensity infrared radiation may be heat stroke and thermal vein, damage of lens, cataract and skin burns. And now we should discuss <coughs> hygienic requirements to natural light. The estimation of natural illumination in premises first of all take into account orientation of windows on the cardinal points, the distance to the next buildings, trees, uh, size, amount, form of windows in premise, presence of extra subjects at windows, for example, green plants is not recommended in school. And uh, special parameters of natural light are light factor, effect of natural illumination, and uh, two angles, angle of falling and angle of aperture. Light factor, its ratio of the area, total area of windows in the room to the total area of the floor. And these standards, standards for uh, light factor in the living room, 1 over 8, 1 over 10. In hospital wards and doctor's cabinets, light factor should be 1 over 5, 1 over 6. In school classrooms, 1 over 4, 1 over 5. In operation theater, 1 over 2, 1 over 4. And you should understand, 1 over 4 is more than 1 over 8 with the more high requirements for operation theater and the minimum parameter for the living rooms because these standards depend on direction of uh, this premise. Next parameter, factor or coefficient of natural illumination. Its ratio of light exposure at your place in lux, lux its unit of light exposure which we measure by lux meter to light exposure in open air and in percentage. Uh, standard for living car rooms 0.5-0.75%, for hospital was 1%, classroom 1.5% and operation theater minimum 2%. Angle of falling should be not less than 27 degrees and angle of aperture not less than 5 degrees. It's a lux meter device for measuring light exposure where um, number um, part of this device number two it's a photo element number two and three it's photo element with perception of light and uh, on a scale of device, we can see a level of light exposure. Next question, the hygienic requirement to the, to the artificial light. Artificial light should be sufficient by level of light exposure. It's the most important requirement, sufficiency by level. Artificial light uh, must uh, approach to natural light by spectrum. Uh, uh, it should be uniform in space, not to give big uh, contrasts in illumination. 
to be uniform in time, not to blind of eyes, and not to warm of air and subjects. Uh, and um, now we have not the most effective and uh, uh, the best uh, sources of artificial light because uh, the most optimal light for our body, for our CNS, for our uh, eyes is natural light, natural sunlight. It's uh, the most uh, biggest uh, problem, it's optimal um, spectrum, optimal spectrum of artificial light. Uh, <clears throat> a light may be, artificial light may be local, uh, general, um, general light standards for living room 40-50 lux or twice more for luminescent lamps uh, 80-100 lux for school rooms 150 lux or 300 lux for luminescent lamps in operation theater, minimum 300 lux. And local lighting in living room, 100 lux. In operation theater, minimum 3000 lux. In operation theater, a high requirement to artificial light exposure uh, because it's an elimination of operational field by special lamps and these lamps uh, should give uh, light exposure from 3000 to 10,000 lux. And maybe combined light exposure, combined system of artificial light when we have general and local sources of light exposure. No, and the uh, kinds of artificial light sources uh, in condensed electric lamps, luminescent, uh, now we have many new types of uh, electric lamps uh, and uh, appliances which are used uh, um, of, uh, for light exposure. It may be appliance of direct light, of reflected light and dispersed light. Thank you for attention. I am finished. Lecture is finished. Goodbye.